Okay, taking a little video here of a couple of globular star clusters in the sky. First one up is M30 in the constellation Capricorn, magnitude 7.5, a little bit on the small side. We've got here a 30th of a second shutter, that's 30 frames per second on this video, and 3200 ISO, Panasonic GH3 camera, looking into a Mulan 250 scope at f9.2. And you can see a pretty tight core and a little bit of spider legs, I'd call it, coming out of the sky. I will do my usual panning bit, so you can see. Indeed, this is a real-time video of a globular star cluster. That's pretty much what it looks like, naked eye, if I took the camera away and put my eye in f behind the intensifier screen, the Gen 3 Thin Film Image Intensifier, which is what we're connected to. This is what you'd see, real-time. Now, uh, I'm going to take another one. I'm going to go to another one. M15 in... Um, Let's see, that's in Pegasus, so let's go zip over there right now. So we're traveling along, it's a little bit of a ways, and we settle in, there we go. That one looks a little bit, well, more symmetric and slightly larger. Yeah, M15, look at that guy, that is a pretty attractive looking cluster. I think I find this far more... Oh, is it brighter? Yeah, magnitude 6.4. It's a full magnitude brighter than the other one we just looked at, M30. But, uh... Very nice. Round core. Gradually spreads out. And, uh... Very nice looking cluster. Real time, what did I say? 30 frames per second, right? Yeah. 3200 ISO. So this again is what I would see if I took the camera off my off the back of my image intensifier and looked at it with my eyeball. But instead, I'm looking at a camera screen here. So there you have it. Two pretty interesting globular star clusters in the fall. First of no, no, second of November, from Mount Pinos, California.